So Nvidia's CMP or crypto mining processor GPUs with custom cooling designs from AIVs have finally started showing up. The first of these is the CMP30HX from Gigabyte that features a mining configured GPU along with custom dual fan cooling which should deliver optimized thermals when running it in a mining farm. Now the Nvidia CMP30HX is the most entry level CMP GPU which makes use of the Turing GPU core. A few days ago we reported the details specifications for the CMP30HX which would be making use of the TU116-100-A1 GPU core. Now this core is expected to feature 1408 CUDA cores and a 6GB GDDR6 memory running across a 192-bit bus interface. The other specifications include a 125 watt TDP and a PCB number of PG161 SKU90. Now the Gigabyte CMP30HX variant pictured by video cards makes use of a custom designed PCB which is shorter than the standard length of the cooler. Now do note there's no backplate on this car, but the cooler itself is dual slot in design which carries over from the WinForce 2X cooling GPU solution which should deliver good thermals. Now the heatsink beneath is made up of several aluminum fins and makes use of a massive copper heat pipe to dissipate heat. Now the card is powered by a single 8 pin connector which should deliver the necessary power to maintain its TGP profile. The side of the shroud features a large CMP logo which confirms this card is definitely made for cryptocurrency mining. Aside from mining, there's really nothing else that you can do with it considering that it lacks display outputs, making it, well, useless once the mining time is over. The card cannot be sold in the used gaming market and cannot be used for other purposes as a standard display adapter either. Now the CMP30HX will launch this month and will deliver what they're rating up to 26 mega hash per second in ethereum and it should cost somewhere in the two to three hundred dollar us price range but i do want to touch slightly on the performance as it seems nvidia named these after the expected tuned hash rate rather than they're out of the box or else they would have called it the 26 hx so quick example would be that if you were to take the 1660 super and tweak it up you would easily see the ethereum hash rate jump closer to that 30 to 32 mega hash per second and the power draw drop to sub 80 watts which may not sound like a lot to most people, but it definitely makes it a much more efficient and lower cost to run and operate than what it's being advertised at. But these will most likely end up going directly to mining farms anyway, and I just wanted to share my opinion on what would make these sought after, because if you go by the specs on the box, they're quite undesirable. All right, guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there Hit the bell notification so that we don't miss you in the future. And if you want to catch out something you may have missed, hit up the links over here on this side. And we'll catch you in the next one.